All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and by this time, you should be asking yourselves, okay, what is going on with uh, Aurelien Tuameni? Because obviously, we were expecting for him to sign with Real Madrid, and we were expecting by this time somebody confirming the player will come to Real Madrid and will sign for Real Madrid. Over the last 24 hours, a lot of things have happened. And of course, the most important is, let me tell you, al Khalifi and PSG are trying to put multiple rocks on the way of Real Madrid to sign Arelien Tuameni just because they won as well to the player. And they are giving everything they got to um, sabotage the signing of the player for Real Madrid. So right now, there's nothing confirmed yet. The latest news we have are coming out from an article uh, released this morning from Jose Félix Díaz, who claims Real Madrid has already sent the offer to Monaco. Uh, very far away, though, from the numbers we've been listening about. I mean, it's, I mean that would be that would not be at all. Um, 80 million, 100 million, or something like that, but way less than that. But other than that, man, Real Madrid should be okay because the player is okay signing for Real Madrid. But according to Jose Feliz Diaz, Akela Ifi and PSG are the biggest obstacle uh, for the signing of Arelian Chuami. So I will be here all day long waiting for news, waiting for the latest news or any other thing I hear about that. And of course, as soon as I get it, I'm going to share with you all. So that is as far as Arelian to a many. But then let's move on and let's talk about another important player that according to Sports Bill has been very, very attached to Real Madrid. That one is Sadio Mané. Of course, we've been listening to a lot of rumors, speculations over the last week regarding to the player. But let me tell you, I never heard anything really serious regarding to Sadio Mane from the side of Real Madrid. That means nobody in Real Madrid was really interested in the player. But now, according to Sportsbill, somebody from Real Madrid is considered, I mean, when I say somebody, is whether the board members, Carlo Ancelotti or whoever are really considering the possibility to go ahead, push the pedal to the metal and sign Sadio Mane. The reason for that is because pretty much the most attractive thing when it comes to Sadio Mane, it is not only is a very important player, as you know, but also that would be a super affordable deal for Real Madrid surrounding the 40 million, 35, 45 million, something like that. So if it falls at some point or some of these numbers, I will be okay with that because it's a great deal. But obviously, it's not my favorite. I mean, my favorite, and as you know, I've been mentioning it for a long time, it's Robert Lewandowski. But now, apparently, according to um, the German newspaper, Real Madrid is considering to Sadio Mane. Now let's move on and let's talk and let's talk about two more players, very important players as well, because they've been way very attached to Real Madrid over the last month, and they are Nkunku and of course Rafael Leao. The most important here is to highlight the person who is claiming that is a very close person to Florentino Perez, is one of the most I mean, I would say not one of the best journalists, but a very close journalist to Florentino Perez. It's pretty much the same thing with Josep Pedrolo. It's Tomás González Martín from ABC News in Spain. He claims Real Madrid has already on the list to Nkunku and, of course, Rafael Leao. Problem is, both of them are super crazy expensive. And the deal could reach about the 150 million euros. So to me, Real Madrid will not pay at all such a crazy money for these players. I mean, they're great players. 
I mean, some of the best in the soccer spectrum right now in Europe, but only one season. Scoring, for example, Rafael Leao, let me say, 14 goals. And Kunku, 35 goals is way more, right? Significantly more. But they only have one great season in their backgrounds. So to me, that is no enough that is not enough argument to say, okay, we have to go ahead with these guys and try to sign him for Real Madrid, right? So I'm not quite sure if Real Madrid will be willing to pay such a crazy money for these guys. But now we know Tomas Gonzalo Martin is claiming Real Madrid is super interested in these guys. So let's see what happens. And let me finish the video today. Um, Echoing the words from Eduardo Inda claiming Ancelotti has insisted to Florentino the sign to Richarlison. Richarlison, the Everton player who worked with um, Carlo Ancelotti in the past when Carlo Ancelotti was coaching to Everton. The player is a Brazilian player, 24, 25 years old, and as well, like in Kunku and the other guy, Rafael Leao, that'll be crazy expensive. About 60 to 70 million euros. So to me, I mean, I'm not quite sure if Florentino Perez will listen to Carlo Ancelotti in this matter, but we will have to wait a little bit more because to me, everything will will be done depending what happens with Tuameni, right? So if we are able to sign Tuameni, then I don't think Real Madrid will spend over 100 million in any other player, right? Maybe a good deal like for example, Sadio Mane or Robert Lewandowski might become done deal as long as we don't pay beyond the 30, 40 million euros. But if we are unable to sign to a many, then we might go ahead and sign to one of these players. So let's see what happens. And now comment in the section below. Of course, subscribe my channel and of course, see you in the next video.